Israelis are entering the second day out of full lockdowns. Coronavirus infection numbers continuing to drop overnight, resting now at just 3.5 percent. Likewise, the national tally for active coronavirus infections has fallen to below 30,000 for the first time since early September. But with the number of serious cases still at 619, at least 212 on ventilation, and 2,209 killed, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is repeating calls to continue honoring the regulations remaining in place. מתחילות לצאת, אבל אנחנו עדיין לא מוציאים אותם, אבל זה תלוי בקיום ההנחיות. ואני קורא לכל הציבור בערים האדומות, לציבור החרדי, קיימו את ההנחיות. אנחנו נאכוף, אבל יותר חשוב שאתם תערפו על עצמכם, לא פחות. לא פחות חשוב. Well, already many Israelis are sharing their cautious approval of the new measures, starting with parents whose young children are now allowed to return to kindergarten, preschool, or daycare. I'm very happy to bring her here. Uh, I am a bit worried, um, but I hope that everything will be fine, there won't be another lockdown, and we'll go back to our routine. It's actually very exciting because for weeks we've been, you know, stayed during the lockdown and it's really difficult, so the kids are very excited and so do we. In spite of the clear instructions, however, many ultra-Orthodox communities, including in red cities, Bnei Barak, Modi'in Elit, and Beitar Elit, have reopened all of their schools. And meanwhile, in a controversial move, roughly 30,000 more yeshiva or Haredi seminary students aged 17 and up will be returning to class at over 400 institutions across the country, supposedly in a capsule system and in coordination with the government. That, plus another 13,000 yeshiva students not included in the plan, who will likely reopen illegally as well. Acting under direct instruction from leading rabbi Chaim Kanievsky. Three advisors to government coronavirus, Zara Gamzu, are now threatening to resign over the illegal school reopenings.